Hey guys, welcome to this week's Semi Live. It is July 22nd, and we're out here on the home property today. Uh, we're gonna take care of a little spraying this afternoon. We're gonna spray all our brassica plots uh, that we're gonna plant this fall. We sprayed them earlier, a couple weeks ago when we sprayed all our beans, and uh, there's a couple, couple of weeds out there that are pretty glyphosate tolerant. There's some horseweed in both the plots that didn't really die from spraying, spraying them the last time. Uh, so we're gonna dump a little 2,4-D in with this round and hopefully take care of that. And we'll be able to plant those plots here in the next couple of weeks with, with all our turnips and stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna take care of that this afternoon, cross our fingers that it doesn't rain. And then tomorrow morning, uh, Austin and I are gonna repair a water hole that we dug last year. I think the liner popped a hole in it. I think the deer must have stepped on it or popped the hole or something in the liner because it's not holding any water. And it was one of our better spots last year for sure. Elliot killed his buck over it last year. So we're gonna repair that, take care of the spraying so we can get our fall plots in and uh, just enjoy the nice weather. Cross our fingers that it doesn't rain tonight. Well, we got a minor setback. We just got out here to the field and I got out to open the booms and took a look and it looks like we stripped a couple bolts out. I'm lucky this whole tank didn't just fall on the way down here, so. Well, since uh, our spraying job kind of fell through with the issue, mounting issue on that, we're just gonna take a little joy rod on the old buggy here, check out some of our other food plots. Our clover plot here uh, doesn't look too good. We're gonna be spraying this, probably plant turnips in here and then uh, frost seed some clover in for next year. But we're gonna take a little joy ride around the property as long as uh, we're out here, see if we don't see any big bucks or anything like that out. But check our fields uh, and see if uh, any of our other food plots are looking okay. But yeah, spraying's postponed. Well, we just got finished checking out all our plots after the uh, sprayer broke, but uh, they don't look too bad. The clover looks pretty good there in the foundation field. The turnip plots that uh, we're gonna plant definitely need to be sprayed, so hopefully we can get that sprayer fixed here in, uh, in the next couple of days and get those sprayed. Um, we're gonna take a drive around the block, do a little velvet scouting. Hopefully we can catch up or, you know, find a couple of the bucks that we're gonna be going after this year. I know there's been a couple of nice three-year-olds that have been coming out across the road on, on the 80 across the road. So um, hopefully we can find future in one of these fields, but uh, we're gonna dr drive around the block uh, walk into a couple fields, see if we can't get a little velvet footage tonight and see if we can't pick up on some nice velvet bucks tonight. Nothing. a decent buck right there. Oh, two decent bucks. Oh, 
Well, that's just gonna about wrap up our night. We did end up seeing a couple of nice bucks, which was kind of nice, but overall a pretty slow night. A lot of does and fawns, nothing too exciting. Uh, no future, which is too bad. We haven't really been able to catch up with him in velvet last year or this year, but he'll show sooner or later. These next couple of weeks, they tend to show their faces a lot more, so hopefully we can catch them over one of these big bean fields that are along the road or back on our property. Hey guys, welcome back to another first light in the field. Um, I just wanted to run through real quick this t-shirt that I've been wearing all day today. This is the men's short sleeve wick t-shirt from First Light. Uh, it's super lightweight uh, t-shirt to wear during the summer. It wicks away the sweat from your body really nice, keeping you kind of dry and cool. So uh, I like to wear it during the hunting season too as a main base layer, but uh, during any uh, summer work that I'm doing too, it's just a really nice summer piece and base layer uh, in the fall. So. Uh, if you want to check it out, head over to firstlight.com and uh, pick you up one of these t-shirts. It is July 23rd and we're out here, we're going to fix this water hole that uh, has dried up. We dug this in here last year and this is the water hole that Shelf Effer killed his buck over last year. And I don't know if the deer popped the liner or, or what, but uh, it's a, it was a really good spot last year and I think it'll be a good spot to try to catch up with future uh, this fall. So. We're gonna, we got another tarp. We're gonna pull this one out of here and reline it and everything. And then uh, we got a little chainsaw work to do too. We gotta cut up this tree and uh, get that out of here because most of the deer funnel, funnel from a big block of timber over there. So it's hot and we got rain coming uh, tonight. So we're gonna try and get this done before the rain. So hopefully, hopefully everything goes as planned. We got the skid loader, so we're gonna. We're going to pound this thing out before the rain. We got all the old liner out and uh, 
pretty much down to clay. It's pretty clay, clay soil. I can't believe it really wasn't holding the water already. Um, but we got this new liner or tarp that we're gonna try. We're gonna throw it in here and then probably put some of the old liner on top of it just to maybe protect it a little bit from popping or something. And then I think we're gonna try covering it with a little more, little more dirt maybe to try and protect it too. I don't know if that popped or why it wasn't holding, but um, we built this side up a little more. It, it should, I'm thinking it should hold water pretty good. So, um, I don't know, we'll cross our fingers. I guess we can come back and check tomorrow because it's definitely gonna rain. But, so we're gonna get this liner in and uh, go from there. Well, that's a wrap on the old water hole project for this year. Um, I'm thinking this liner is going to hold pretty well, so um, now all we got to do is really kill a big buck over it and it'll be complete. So, uh, Shelf Uffer will probably do that, that'll be no problem for him. So, um, worked out well, it's supposed to rain a bunch tonight. So. The spraying job that uh, we had planned didn't really pan out. Uh, the sprayer connection broke, so uh, didn't get to that, but we did get one project done, so that feels pretty good for this weekend. So thanks for tuning in to this week's Semi Live, and we'll be back right back here again next week.